year, team up, uh, Kingston team up with TIRC, Taiwan Intelligence Robotic, Robotic Company, um, to kind of showcase this inspection robot, uh, to kind of demonstrate how and what Kingston's product can be actually used in a real world applications. So you can see this inspection robot, there are some, you know, got some cameras on top of it. It's got some sensor, uh, sensors over here, got some possibly supersonic sensor uh, down there. So those data are actually collected from the environment. So the uh, robot would go around the, let's say, the humanless factories or somewhere, you know, a little bit dangerous human are not possibly can go there. So just let the robot go. So for those environments, uh, robot would go there to collect some of the environment data and then send those data to the AI server right over there. So this is how we demonstrate, um, you know, this AI robot, uh, AI server and AI robot, you know, how those devices are get together and how they are communicated. How about we just move a little bit to our uh, backend for our AI server. So you can see this is actually a gigabyte AI server. And what we're demonstrated here today, we actually got three of our products. And if you want, just take a closer look for our, you know, samples. We've got some of the um, uh, SSD products over here. And feel free to take a little bit more closer if you want. All right, so uh, let's start with the memory. The green stick on hand is actually our DDR5 Server Premier ECC RDEM. It looks pretty much like a UDEM for desktop, but it actually cannot be mixed with desktop because uh, there's a RCD right over here. Uh, this is for server specifically and to making the data transmission a little bit even more uh, stable and reliable. And this is how uh, servers customers, they are pursuing and expected. So there's an RCD over here for ECC. And also uh, for this RDEM, uh, the speed can be up to 6400 megatransfer per second. This is the highest speed uh, Intel's latest generation can provide it. Natively supported 6400 megatransfer per second without overclocking. And for the capacity, it can be up to 128 gigabytes per memory module. So you can see this uh, gigabyte server there's 32 memory stick right over here from like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like there's 32 memory stick right over here. And imagine each stick up to 128 gigabytes. Total capacity can be up to four terabytes per system. Total memory capacity can be uh, four terabytes per system. And we also got some uh, enterprise grade SSD solutions. All right. So right now I'm going to intro. Oh, hold on. All right. Wait a, wait a, wait a second. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay. So right now I'm going to introduce our data center grade SSD. One is DC 3000 ME, and other one is DC 200B. And for this one, DC 3000 ME is our latest launched SSD in the last quarter. And uh, this is the first PCIe Gen 5x4 data center SSD for Kingston. And uh, the performance can reach up to 14 gigabyte per second for the sequential read. And uh, for the sequential write, can up to 10 gigabyte per second. And you can look the uh, phone factor. It is a U.2 phone factor with the enterprise TLC NAND flash. And uh, the capacity is support from 4 terabyte to 16 terabyte, so it's pretty large. And uh, the it support one DWPD, and this one is focusing on the AI workload server and the high performance computing. Okay, so you can take a look. And the next one is our boot drive segment for the data center SSD, which is DC2000B. And this is PCIe Gen 4x4 solution. And the performance can reach up to 7,000 megabyte per second for the sequential read. And the capacity is from 240 gigabyte to 960 gigabyte. So it is for boot drive. So this is all we are focusing on the data center SSD in this year, 2025. So you can take a look and have, uh, take some picture. Thank you.
tackle it a little bit and then just go forward. Okay, okay. just go forward. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to and then I'll just let him go forward. Right. Three, two, one, go. Like this, and then go backward. And then it can actually turn a little bit like when you turn left a little bit. Oh, so it's a bit right. So this is what it is. Okay. Okay. This is what it is. Right, 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 right. So this video is kind of demonstrating how those instructions camera mm -hmm. would use uh, maybe in a humanless factories or in the dangerous area, let's say earthquake or nuclear uh, events happen, and maybe it's a you know better to send a robot to the you know uh, environment uh, to kind of inspect and to see. Uh, you know what happened here, uh, and those data are actually collected by the cameras over here, the sensors over here, the sensors downstairs, and those data are actually collected and sent to the AI server to do the further processing and analysis. And this is how things can, can do for now. It is we provided a consistent and reliable performance during all of the processing and for those uh, data collected. Right. So this is what we are demonstrating for now. Right. So, Welcome to the Fury Acceleration Center. So this station is powered by Kingston Fury Memory and SSD. So it's our product for overclocking. And can you come, guys come closer? So let me introduce our memory product first. So as you can see here, this is our Kingston Fury Impact PDR5 Cam2. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen this in last year, because we have showcased this one. And this year we double the capacity. So right now the maximum capacity will be 128 gigabyte for just one piece. And with the increase of the capacity, the overall module size is also larger. So as you can see here, it's almost two times larger. Yeah. And this year, we collaborate with Gigabyte. So they provide a motherboard for us to showcase the CAM2 memory. And let me remove the heatsink so that you guys can see the CAM2 memory. Yep. Feel free to take a photo. And also for the CAM2, right now the speed can reach 8,000 mega transfer per second. The smaller one. So it looks similar like the Renegade Yodin, but actually there's a little difference. We add a little IC code clock driver, and the location is around here. But right now there's a heating, so we cannot see that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, with the help of the clock driver, we can reach higher speed, like 8,800 mega transfer per second, and also maintain the stability. And for the capacity, right now the maximum capacity for one piece is 48 gigabyte. So if you buy a case of two, you will have 96 gigabyte, around 100. Yeah. And the last one is our lighting effect. We also provide 18 different RGB lighting effects to our Fury Control software. So right now you can see it's displaying the Fury Control. Yeah. Feel free to take some photos or video. Hello. Okay. So, um, welcome to the SS, uh, SSD section. Uh, in this, uh, the, in the first half of this year, uh, we are really proud to introduce the, uh, our Fury Renegade Gen 5 SSD. So we utilize the uh, uh, silicon motion, uh, silicon motion controller IC to boost up the, our read and write speed. Uh, our uh, read speed can be up to almost uh, fifteen thousand megabyte per second, and the write speed can be up to uh, 14,000 megabytes per second. So this is one of the uh, fastest um, uh, Gen 5 SSD you can see in the market right now. And uh, we offer three uh, options for the capacity from one terabyte to four terabyte. And also because we basically double the speed, so a certain level of the temperature will be generated. So we also implement the uh, th uh, heat sinker to make the work, uh, work, uh, working temperature as stable as possible. Yeah. So feel free to come closer and take some picture of our uh, Junfi SSD. Okay.
welcome to Kingston Innovative uh, Creators Lab, which Kingston provides our solution for high-speed um, data um, workflows, and uh, we do support actual um, real-world aerospace application. Okay, you might be so curious why there's a bucket here. Anyone can guess what's inside? Actually, we do support Kingston. Um, Fury Gen 5 SSD, which you just saw in the another room, we um, in, on board this rocket, in this rocket with our Fury SSD. Yes, and we capture all the data during the flight. Mm -hmm. And then we, um, when it flies to the, the air, it can up to 2000 meters. And we collect all the data and we can um, transmission to the ground and to the ground you can see this PC it's our control PC which have Kingston DDR5 Renegade and also Gen5 SSD which we use this product Kingston product to do the simulation design and post flight um, data analysis okay and then we do have those data and then they will uh, have to um, transmission those data to their server. You can see mission control server, which we support Kingston um, DC SSD, which is um, DC 3000 ME UDA2 um, SSE, which we can do all their um, data analysis and AI um, data analysis in the server. Oh, I forgot to mention this is a project. It's their um, a project that we support um, the university here and we co work with them we sponsor for those um, young talent for learn they can um, build up this RTFT rocket system they will ha have another competition in this coming June so we are very honored to co work with them okay you have any question about this you can take some video photo for this pillow bay which is this pillow bay and we on board in this rocket the um, region um, limited version of this and we have SS1000 and SS2000 and this um, 1000 is um, speeds up to 1000 megabyte and that one is uh, 2000 megabyte as you can see you can just very easy to carry use two of my finger you can carry it very easily I have, let me take this one. <laughs> that would be our new um, BOC logo. All right, and that will be very easy to put it in your pocket as well. Okay. And move on to the next. It's our um, new uh, USB, which is DT Exodia S, which is Swivel One, which is um, no cap. It's really easy to use. And it's the uh, capacity is up to 512. Okay. Move on to the next. You can see those are our um, micro SD and SD card. We have Re8 Plus, Go Plus, and Select Plus. For the Re8 Plus, which is more targeted for professional photographer, content creators, because their speed is up to 280 megabyte per second. And the second one will be the Go Plus SD card, which is more targeting for gamers, drones, or action cameras, which the speed is about 200 megabytes per second. And the, the, the last one will be the Select Plus, the green one, which we just launched it, uh, this, this quarter. And that, that's our new version. Their speed is up to 150. Okay, so that will be more affordable and for like for students, for everyone. Okay, I think that will be that will be today's um, show for you. Any questions for me? So maybe at the media already asked you yeah. about the micro SD for for switch to <laughs> is there support? So uh, actually, we 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 used to have one, but now no, we don't have their their special edition for. And because okay. you know that's really a niche one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to ask about SSD. What is the then the Russian logo? Oh, actually, only logo. The design. Oh. Yes, 
interactive design. We, we, we want to emphasize Kingston's commitment to end users. So we put on this logo. We want to connect their uh, end users, um, their concept and connection between Kingston and end user. You see this logo, you will think of us. <laughs>